games. Mobile games are something that a lot of us may have fond memories of. From staying up past our bedtimes to check our class or clan space, to playing Angry Birds at a family event. Although I think it's safe to say that they are definitely oh not the same as what they used to be. Like, bro, what is this? Are you seeing this? So I thought it would be fun to take a little nostalgia trip. Alright, the first game we're going to be talking about is going to be Jetpack Joyride. Now, I remember playing Jetpack Joyride all the time. Like, I swear, I must have been addicted to this game considering how much time I would spend on it. Like, I bet the devs of the game were probably looking at my game account like, Yo, how has this kid spent 600 hours on an iPad game? Look, he just went online. It's literally 4.30 in the morning. How are you doing this? Dude, I was playing this game every chance I got when I was a kid. I remember I would play it all the time on the bus. And my bus ride was not short. It was like 30 minutes, but I would play it the entire way through. But you want to know the kicker? I wasn't even playing on my own iPad. Yep, that's right. I was mooching my friend to use his iPad. Okay, maybe it wasn't my friend and it was some random kid I would sit next to. But still, like bro, now that I think back on it, I feel kind of bad because this kid would go almost every day his bus ride home without his iPad because my stupid ass was playing Jetpack Joyride. The only fault that Jetpack Joyride had was that I would get so stressful the longer the level went because it would speed up so fast and more of those little spinning fireball things would always hit you and that's always what I would die to in the end or the lasers. I swear those lasers were the ops. Jetpack Joyride is a goat and will forever remain a goat. Bro, Jetpack Joyride, 10 out of 10. Easy. All right, the next game we're going to be talking about is Clash of Clans. Bro, this is one of the few games on this list that have completely avoided falling off. When I was younger, I would play Clash of Clans all the time, and so would everyone else around you. Especially in school, if you were sitting way at the back of the classroom and you managed to know how to hide your iPod or your iPad, bro, you were set. Your villagers were getting the premium treatment because you didn't want to do anything else but suddenly focus on your village. Bro, I would play this game past my bedtime on my Amazon Fire tablet. I would also pray to the lords above that my parents were not gonna randomly barge in my room for some reason. Because you already know if they found you playing that game past your bedtime, it was wraps. You're getting it taken away. So I would be playing my game and when I would hear my parents coming down the hall, I would put it under my pillow. I was only caught once and that is all because I loaded up the game and didn't turn my volume down. So the logo went off at like 11 p.m. and essentially alarmed the entire house immediately after my parents came into my room and they confiscated my tablet. But the worst part by far about the game was the builder's huts and how you had to wait an unbelievably disgusting amount of time. Like, if you have enough money to build your town hall up to the next level, oh, go ahead and do that. You just need to build these 10 extra structures, which cost a lot of money, and two, take, like, up to three days to actually build. Like, bro, are you kidding me? Well, you are aware that you can spend gems to speed up the building process. Bro, shut up. Have you seen how expensive those gems are? And you're expecting me as a child to have money to spend on a mobile game? No, absolutely not. Clash of Clans is an easy goat. 10 out of 10. Actually, no. Taken down a number because of those stupid microtransactions. Clash of Clans, 9 out of 10. All right, the next game we got is Fruit Ninja. Now, Fruit Ninja is one of those games that, honestly, I still play every now and then today. The only problem with Fruit Ninja is that you can't play it for longer than, like, 10 minutes before... It you just get immediately bored because it's just the same thing over and over again, which I guess it's an arcade game, so it's kind of meant to be like that. But let's be real, it was not... <laughs> it can't keep me entertained for too long. But when I was in the store shopping, like when I would go to Costco with my parents, you already know I would haul to the electronic section and just be playing Fruit Ninja on the Costco iPads. Bro, looking back on it, I bet those employees were looking at me like, bro... Not again. Because they most definitely had to wipe those iPad screens after I smudged the hell out of them. The worst part about Fruit Ninja, though, is that I would be on a streak with, like, a super high score. And then I would always, for some reason, mistake in a pomegranate for a... Like, how do you even do that? They're both different colors. One of them is black, while the other one is, like, pink. Fruit Ninja is fire. I'm gonna give it 8 out of 10. Alright, the next game we got on the list is going to be Plants vs. Zombies. 
This game is both monumental and important to so many children. I swear. The music was always hitting, and it was honestly just such a unique premise. Like, plants fighting zombies? What? Like, what was the creator on when he thought of it? Whatever it was, give the man another perk and let him cook up again. Getting sunshine and unlocking new plants was just such a great feeling, but it wasn't as good as seeing our good friend crazy dave like you'd be grinding the game and then all of a sudden you see his head pop out with his little pot hat and he'd say something along the lines of hey what can i say blog is doing nothing but spitting facts though and i know i mentioned earlier but i think i should again the music the music had such a unique sound to it but at the same time it sounded good it's very hard to balance the two but the best sound ever was when you would win and the game would go plants versus zombies i can't in good conscience rank this too low easy 11 out of 10 just everything perfect the next game on our list is going to be minecraft pe specifically now believe it or not minecraft pe was actually my first time playing minecraft and of course it was on my little acer tablet and when i got the game i almost felt like i had joined a little club if that makes literally any sense because it was such a popular game and the time that i was finally you know able to play it it just felt different almost in a good way though i got to build literally whatever i wanted in a world how i wanted it i could essentially dictate my entire village but i still vividly remember finally convincing my dad to buy it for both me and my brother and we would make worlds together obviously griefing each other's worlds but still it's it was just so fun i don't know how to explain it i don't know why minecraft pe has got me like feeling differently although i do think i should say one time my mom confiscated my tablet because bro <laughs> i was risen up this girl dude she caught me talking to strangers on minecraft she then read through all the messages i sent to this girl on minecraft and she asked what's your username and bro saying out loud my username is xxswagboy666 is the most embarrassing thing I have ever done in all of my time of living. Minecraft PE is such a goat. Minecraft PE, easy 11 out of 10. It's great. All right, next game we're going to be talking about is going to be Crossy Road. Now, Crossy Road is a game where you would just tap the screen as a chicken to cross the road. Hence the name Crossy Road. It isn't anything monumental. It was just like a game that I think everyone just had on their devices because it was a quick little time killer, you know? Dude, even some TVs just have Crossy Road automatically built into it. That's how popular of a game it was. And just because it was so simple, you would just press a button to jump. But then they had another game called Smashy Road, which was a completely different premise. The first one is you jumping across the road as a chicken. But in this one, you're escaping cops by driving around around through deserts and towns dude it's ridiculous in my opinion smashy road was the superior one because <laughs> it just felt more fun i don't know crossy road wasn't anything too special you know what i'll give it a six out of ten check out part one of this video if you haven't already anyways thank you guys so much for watching and to all of my lovely subscribers I can't bring you